All right, so I've got to admit it. I have fallen in love with the Galaxy S10e. I know, right? Yes, I fell in love with the Galaxy S10e. This device is really different. It's got a special feel to it, and it's something that I really want to share with you guys. So I got to see the whole Galaxy S10 line, and you can check out our video on the full line of Galaxy S10 devices from the S10 Plus, S10, and the S10e. But the S10e really felt different. When you first pick it up and hold it in your hands, uh, even though I have larger hands and I love bigger phones, it felt comfortable. It felt comfortable to hold. It felt comfortable in my hands. It was easy to navigate. Plus with One UI, it's definitely much easier to navigate with this device. When we look at it, first off, you see that awesome display. It's the brand new dynamic AMOLED display, which uh, is a full HD plus display for the S10e, but it is super vibrant. It is sharp. And you know how Samsung does their displays. They are just fantastic on that. This display has, of course, blue light reduction built in just naturally without you turning it on about up to 42%. Plus it's got a 93% screen to body ratio with that hole punch, uh, of course, camera at the top right hand corner. Now, speaking of that front facing camera, it matches everything in the whole line, 10 megapixels. It does 4K recording. So you can do uh, 4K recording with your selfies in front if you want to, and some really sharp images as well. Now, speaking of which, it packs the same set of specs. Snapdragon 855 processor built in. You've got six or eight gigabytes of RAM, similar to the other two, and you've got 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage, plus micro SD expansion if you want to do that as well. So in terms of specs, it doesn't feel cheaper or lighter. Now, it's got the same array of colors, including the exclusive yellow, which looks pretty vibrant on that. In, on this device, but you've got the crimson, um, green, blue, black, like really nice looking colors. So a lot of selections for you to definitely pick up on this device. Now, did I forget to mention, it's got a headphone jack, gotta throw that in there, and it's got Dolby Atmos built in. So you've got that as well to enhance your audio, USB type C port. Now at the back, here are some of the differences you'll find. It's got two camera lenses instead of three. Now. It's still got the same wide angle camera that all the other two devices have. So it's got a, a field of view of about 123 degrees. It's a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, f-stop of 2.2. Now the second camera is the dual pixel 12 megapixel uh, camera, OIS. It's a wide angle lens, uh, dual aperture f1.5 and f2.4. Now this camera packs in a lot of features. It's got the, you know, the new scene optimization. Um, it's also got 4K recording as well, uh, 4K um, recording on this. Then you've also got the ability to have that steady shot. So Samsung says, look, with the S10e, you can walk around just like with the GoPro 7 Black from last year and record video and it will stay steady. Doesn't matter how shaky your hands are, you can get that steady shot from the stuff. So that's pretty cool and I have to check that out. Now the fingerprint sensor is not the ultrasonic. It's got a fingerprint sensor on the side with the power button and it's still really responsive and it's fast. Plus again, for me holding it with this device, it was easy to just tap that. So I felt really comfortable using it. I was really responsive to just tap. You've got, of course, intelligent scan, so you can do facial recognition, and you've got the iris unlock built into it as well. So there's not a lot you're missing from this device. Now, it's not a curved screen, it is a flat screen, so that's something to mention, but it's got all the lifestyle features. It's water resistance, it's got fast wireless charging 2.0, which means it matches the speed of standard wired charging on this device, so it's faster wireless charging. Plus, you've got Samsung's new wireless power share, which means you've got reverse wireless charging. You can flip your phone around, drop your, uh, your maybe your Galaxy Buds or your Galaxy Watch and reverse or power share with your Galaxy S10. So you've got all that built in there, which is nice. You've got um, Cat20 uh, gigabit ethernet, plus you've got Wi-Fi 6, which is the latest Wi-Fi standard to give you faster Wi-Fi speeds. So everything you can think of on those devices is on the S10e, all bundle up at a price of $749.
that makes it just so much sweeter. That's why I like this device. And I think a lot of people will like this too. So I just wanted to make this video specifically around the Galaxy S10e because I thought this would have been the throwaway device and this is one of the ones I gravitated to. Even though I love the Galaxy S10 Plus, I'm, I'm a big phone guy. The S10e was calling me. So there you have it guys. If you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy S10e, let me know. Also, if you want to take a look at the wallpaper that you've seen in this video, I'll have a link for you guys down below. And if you want to go ahead and order your own Galaxy S10e, use our link down here in the description to support the channel. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favor this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.